Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we're counting down our picks for the top 7 best Monica Bellucci movies. Number 7, La Riffa. È bellissima. Lei merita tutte le cose più belle. E naturalmente è una copia. Its English title is The Raffle, and the plot focuses on a simple scheme to pay off some pesky debts. Bellucci plays the main character, Francesca, whose husband Maurizio has passed on, and she has to pay for some of his bad financial decisions. After she sold some furniture and other accessories on the estate, she comes up with a plan to raffle off Maurizio's most valuable asset, herself. It sounds dramatic, but it's really an Italian melodrama combined with a comedy. It's called a raffle, but it's more of a bidding war, as various men bid for the prize, which is four years of Francesca's time and total compliance. After some twists and turns, one of which includes a relationship based on love instead of money, Francesca is free of her husband's financial ghosts. It's worth seeing as an early example of Monica Bellucci movies. Number 6. Under Suspicion. A French-American production that stars big names from both sides of the pond, Under Suspicion, is a murder mystery with some political intrigue and personal drama thrown in to make the formula more interesting. There are more than a few red herrings deliberately planted in the storyline to throw off the viewer, and the resolution is a surprising one. This Monica Bellucci movie was nominated for several awards and was considered for screening at the Cannes Film Festival, and despite positive reviews thanks to the writing and acting, a limited release meant fewer people got to experience this underrated movie. Number 5. Irreversible. You've probably heard about this movie directed by Darren Gaspar Noé and know of its controversial and brutally violent nature. If not, here's a film that can be praised and disapproved simultaneously. It narrates, in reverse chronological order, the happenings of a night in Paris where two men, played by Vincent Castle and Albert Dupontel, seek to find the aggressor of a brutal attack that left Alex, Monica Bellucci, the girlfriend of the first, in a horrifying state, deeply stagnated in a coma. Hard to watch, it definitely leaves a mark on its viewer by its disturbing plot and visually enhancing disorientating camera techniques and cinematography. Here's a brave Monica Bellucci that took part, brilliantly, in a dark role that not everybody would be willing to play. Number 4. Don't look back. Sophie Marceau and Monica Bellucci star along together in this mystery thriller that encounters a rather strange and bizarre storyline, in which fantasy meets the psychological. Jean, Marceau, is a mother and wife to whom a peculiar sensation of change begins to infiltrate her being. She slowly feels her body transforming into a stranger, while her surroundings remain in the normality their lives seem them to be. It's a photograph that connects this character to a woman, Monica B. Elucci, who she believes will clarify the mystery she is stuck in. With two incredible performances, Bellucci is entirely in character and gives this movie a balanced and right-fitting result. Number 3. Asterix and Obelix Mission Cleopatra. Based on the French comics of the same name, this fantasy comedy is simply the best for a fun and humorous night in. It follows the adventures of protagonists Asterix and Obelix in ancient Egypt, where the prestigious and powerful Cleopatra, fantastically figured by Bellucci, reigns over her kingdom. She demands the construction of a palace in Alexandria in order to win a deal she made with Julius Caesar, which will develop the story in a series of catastrophic adventures and misadventures. Bellucci couldn't have been better for this role. Physically perfectly fitting with the historical ruler, she is sublime in her dominant, gracious, and rigid role of the intelligent and beautiful queen of the ancient world. Number 2. On the Milky Road. One of Bellucci's most recent contributions to film is this Serbian movie that combines light-hearted humor with dramatic circumstances and elements of fantasy, presenting a splendid cinematography in which she gets the role of a different, physically more daring character. Jumping, plunging, running, we finally see her beautiful figure more free and open in movement and direction, leaving for once the often static appearance of her past characters behind. It's a story about love, war, and reclusion handled with imagination and colorful visuals that enhances the narration about Costa, Amir Kasturitsa, and the bride, Monica Bellucci. Number 1. Malina. In the same style and atmosphere as the awe-inspiring, Cinema Paradiso, Giuseppe Tornatori wins back the deserved recognition with this romantic drama that shines a light on Monica Bellucci as the iconic Italian feminine perfection. Here, she's the solitary Malina, 
whose husband has been sent to war, living in a 1940 Sicilian town where she's desired and visually devoured by the men and profoundly hated by the women. When 12-year-old Renato falls for her charms, he follows her around and observes her every move, becoming her little protector. This sad, helpless character, to whom, for once, her beauty is her very bad fortune, is honorably essayed by Bellucci. Applause to this stunning figure, that keeps her head up high, despite the heavy weight of rumors, insults and social pressure she has to carry. Not to mention the beautiful set decor and location, and of course, the music that wraps the images with emotion from beginning to end. Truel a five-star masterpiece.